truth about desperation is that it makes the insane seem plausible. Because when you're desperate, you'll do anything to change your situation. My roommate Sherry and I moved to Los Angeles at the same time, knowing that if we were alone, it would kill us. I was just getting out of my marriage. And Sherry was getting out of a bad dating situation. When I proposed the move, she jumped at the chance. I don't know why I wanted to move to Hollywood. I guess it's because people reinvent themselves out here on a daily basis. But what I didn't know about was the desperate loneliness of the city. Even best friends are like strangers. So every night we locked ourselves up in our place until slowly we started to crack. <laughs> Someone should tell her that's just plain tacky. She's cute. You think every woman on TV is cute. You're just horny. Well, you're even better. I don't moon my way through Victoria's Secret commercials. I didn't rent that movie just to see Vince Vaughn naked. <laughs> you know what I miss about sex? Having a partner? <laughs> Breasts. I miss touching them and caressing them and the way they rub up against me when I'm dancing. I do not see why guys go so nuts over them. Women should have their faces tattooed between their tits a minute and finally look them in the eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't miss anything. I'll tell you what I don't miss. What? Semen. Jack wanted me to go on the pill so he didn't have to wear a condom. So not only do I gain 20 pounds, but I'm cleaning up afterwards. I'm making dinner and doing the dishes. It sucks. Yep, man or pigs. What are you going to do? I don't know. I just wish I could find one to keep it all in him. Mm, good luck. It wasn't like we weren't trying. We had a small group of friends. They were working. Sometimes I would get a blind date. I just couldn't get past the initial awkwardness to intimacy. It was like I was 13 again. I still wasn't doing it right. So when desperation finally knocked, we answered. What are you doing? Trolling the personals for potential heartbreaks. That thing is full of liars. I know. It's more for laughs than anything else. Like this one. Professional man seeks fresh face. Some studio accountant looking for a Lolita for premieres, more like it. And this isn't funny. Couples looking for people. I mean, Christ, you'd think if they found someone, they wouldn't be so greedy. Well, they still make you feel inferior anyway. They want you to be a porn star for a night and then leave. How do you know? I read. <laughs> Most of them are looking for couples only. It's like there's some exclusive club or something. We only want people who are happy. Nya, nya. Fuck them. What do you do with the couples as unhappy as we are? Hmm? Then what are we getting out of it? What do you mean by that? What, us being unhappy? No, us being a couple. Well, you and me together? <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Look, just, just think of it for a second. Um, you just need some meaningless sex to reawaken the flames, right? Oh, God, yeah, 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 you know, get the pilot light going again. Yeah, exactly. I just, I just need a situation I can control. If we were to pose as a couple, we could get the best of both. Let me see that. Okay, what do we got? Here. Oh, God, no. Too old. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody on Social Security, please. And nobody close. I don't want to run into them somewhere. Agreed. No. Agreed. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. What? Look. Early 30s. Attractive. And in Palm Springs. Far away from anyone we knew. Okay, I'm nervous. It's been like two years, you know? Just relax. Try not to look pathetic. Hard to drive, was it? No, no, just long. <laughs> just 
please come in. Hey, so great you guys could make it out. Drink? Uh, scotch? I'll just have water, thanks. Great, I'll be right back. This place is so... Thank you. I've worked hard to get it just the way I wanted. I don't work. Don't have to, thank goodness. So I put most of my energy into the house. Planning events, parties, you know. When did you move out here? Uh, about two months ago. Tom got transferred and we just couldn't say no. <laughs> it's hard to meet people who think like you do, but you know that. <laughs> Tell me about it. Most of the people in the neighborhood are older, so when we decided to branch out, well, we were worried. It's so far from Los Angeles. We were worried that people like us wouldn't, wouldn't make the trip. Here you go. Yeah, but we found a few out here. You know, people like us. But we always look for new people, like us, you know. You would mind? Of course not. Thanks. Where are you from? New Orleans. Wow, we've never been there. We're from New York. <laughs> I came out here to start a branch of my father's business and it's worked out great. Nice. Sherry, would you like to see my rare collection of stamps? Uh, sure. Well, she's quite friendly. Aren't you lucky? Not really. Oh, you mean with her? <laughs> Lucky man, right here. Lucky. Scotch didn't go to your head, did it? Not yet. Good. I don't want to seem crazy or insensitive or anything like that, but I wanted to have a quick word with you. You know, when we moved out here, it was because I wanted to try new things, to explore new territory. I just wanted to make sure you understand that I'm seeking, I'm growing, and I'm working towards discovering a whole new me. It's like what Hemingway said. He Will said, you, do you have a question for me, or are we going to look at stamps? Oh, God. <laughs> uh. well, why don't you lie down and relax a bit? What in 
the hell is wrong with you? I can feel your excitement, but you look at me like I'm a uh, hangman. <laughs> this is this this is a little quick for me. I like to get to know somebody before we do something like this. What could you possibly want to know? What could be so goddamn important? Uh, I don't know. Uh, wh why, why don't you work? What? I don't work because I don't have to. William makes more than enough for us. Have you old? <sighs> Maybe sometimes. I don't know. I have things to do. What, what do you do? Or the like you do? <sighs> I like to swim when it's warm. I plan the parties we have. Watch TV, collect Barbies. What else do you want to know? You don't ever want more? Why? Right, this is a perfect life. What are you getting at? Do you think my marriage is in trouble? Whoa. Okay. You know what? Just sit up. Just talk to me. The emotions came pouring out of her. Things she'd held back for years finally came to the surface, and after half an hour, she finally felt better. And I avoided everything. I blew it. I, I spent the whole time talking. I couldn't even bear to try anything when it was over. I'm pathetic. I sit on a glass table. What? He jacked off while I shit on a glass table. He said it was a fantasy he'd always had, and he wanted to try it out with me. Oh, that, I don't feel so bad now. Just drive. Just drive. You shit on Just... a... Okay. Why? Just... All right. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but for some reason they invited us back next weekend. Sherry, could you come help me? Sure. So we didn't get a chance to, uh, talk last time. What business are you in? Glass. Really? Yeah, we got some really quality stuff. And you moved out here? Oh, I wanted to be my own boss. When you work for yourself, you don't have to take anybody else's shit. None. You just work hard and you'll keep ahead. It's tough. You don't want to get caught with your pants down in a shit storm. Ha! <laughs> Honey? What? You need any help? Babe? Don't you be silly. This is the hostess's job, and Sherry is helping me just fine. You betcha. Honey, so great. She's a master in the kitchen, Tom. And everywhere else, of course. Sherry? Do you want to see my butterfly collection? So, where do we leave, leave, leave off? William. William. <sighs> I don't know. Our sex life is going great. And he just pulls back. I ask him what he wants. He says I wouldn't understand. And he goes into his office. I don't know what kind of shit he's hiding. Who knows? You get any? Nope. 
You? Shit. Yep. I guess we passed some sort of test, because the next weekend they invited us to our first multi-couple party. Okay, everyone's here, so I think we should get started. We have Tom and Sherry here tonight, so I think it's time to show them our party tradition. We try and promote our own sense of family values, so we get the party started by being with our own spouses. So ladies, let's take care of our men. Here you go, honey. Enjoy. What the fuck do I do now? I don't know. Fake it. How? Let me... Keep that thing away from me. What do you want me to do? Just moan. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ, moan better than that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. The party itself was really weird. It was like a sexual game of Red Rover. All the men stood on one side acting macho, while the women sat together acting girly. And when someone wanted some action, they'd come over and get somebody. And when they were done, they would return to their respective teams. I, of course, remain my usual suave self. I just never felt comfortable around my father. Mm. Did you ever talk to him about it? Or? No. No, 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 of course, your dog dying is a big deal. It, uh, he didn't do anything? Or? No. He wouldn't even take me to the vet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm. Um, I was thinking of something. The, the vet. The vet. Maybe he was scared, and and he couldn't talk about it. God, he loved Fluffy. So I realized there had to be a me before there could be a we. Wow, that's deep. So are we gonna fuck or what? No, no, no. This is good. Something tragic happened while I was in there the last time. Sherry had crossed the line. Do you want a drink, Sherry? How about a beer? Or some coffee? Some dried fruit? She had broken some unwritten rule crossing to the other side, and I could tell that all the others hated her for it. Now that was fun. Did you get any? Nope. You? One glass top, two golden showers, and a hot lunch. What? You don't want to know. That's just disturbing. God, that <laughs> is just wrong. <laughs> Does that intimidate you? No, I'm just trying to do the math. How do you? That one's for Johnny. He has some issues. Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Blindfold. Crash his panties. Easy access. Uh, easy egress. Sure. Yeah. Is this stuff cool <laughs> with you? Sure. I'm just having fun. I'm not pathetic like you. It just, it, it, it just. You're a wimp. I know. It must be. It's so sad to be such a loser. Great. 
Now you turn on me. Get over it yourself. Don't make such a big deal about it. I mean, I don't even like you when you get like this. Thanks. I just get, I get scared, you know? It doesn't make any sense. Please don't. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, hi. Okay. Who? Hello? It's Lee. Linda's gonna be at the next party. Who's Linda? Lee said Linda was the soul of the group. A former child star, she had burned through two husbands in a rehab by the time she was 19. But she had found her center, so she was the only one allowed to come solo. And for some reason, she was dying to meet me. Sure, we'll be great friends when we're finished. Mm. Hey, what? what are you scared of? I don't know. Oh my god, you really haven't slept with any of them. I thought they were joking. It's not a joke, except on me. Excuse me. Well, what are you scared of, Sherry? Not for that reason. Then what is it? I don't know. I just, uh, I freeze up when I get around a woman. Mm. You know, you can't confuse love and sex, baby. A woman wants to feel like she's in the hands of a man who feels good. I mean, about himself, about life, about everything. When you put all this pressure on yourself, you just make it worse. So come on. Kiss me. Good. Is that so hard? Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> good. Now why don't you relax? Let's have ourselves some fun, huh? Mm. 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 You better get that woman and get out of my house. Oh shit. The fuck is your problem? <laughs> you people are up. You're so full of your own shit. <laughs> you can't even fucking talk to each other. You're a bunch of freaks. I mean, come on. You want to take your dick out of your hands and actually fuck uh, me? Come on, shit. What come the on. fuck? All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> this, this guy isn't my husband. He's just some fucking loser like the rest of you. Uh, shit. <laughs> nice meeting you all. Guess we won't be uh, seeing you around. I'm sorry I lost it. There's just some things I can't take, and these people thinking that they have something on me. I mean, they're the freaks, not us. No way. Linda kissed me. <laughs> Good for you. So, things didn't change all that much after our adventure. See you later. 
my insistence, William and Lee went through some couples counseling and finally learned to embrace each other's differences. I don't think they've ever been happier. Sherry went and found herself a boyfriend. After a short period of dating, she convinced him to try tantric yoga. What scares me is, this man hasn't ejaculated for four months. But they seem quite happy. And I just keep plugging. What was that for? And the fear is still there, but for being here with me. Sometimes I can put it aside for a second. Feels like I finally graduated from high school. And they say college is a lot of fun.